this morning I just want to do a quick update on what the avo trees are looking like at the moment um, it's officially we've entered winter we've had um, 70 170 rather millimeters of rain over the past six days that's like uh, about seven inches of rain and um, it's extremely wet <laughs> But I'm looking at the Fuerte tree now, um, there's a lot of fruits on this tree still, um, around, around about 25 uh, fruits, and um, there's been some, some bud breaks, some flowers um, opening also, and this tree's looking really healthy. I did a, a nice mulch layer, a big area. Um, underneath and around this tree and um, and he's looking super healthy nice dark green color uh, what's interesting on this tree because it's got so many fruits on uh, the flowers are a little bit delayed here was a couple of flowers the first first bunch of flowers um, nothing came from that here was some early early flowers there was a few and um, mostly the fruits that set their little BBs they've all fallen off so if you look at the just the stage or the state that this tree's flowers are in uh, versus the other Fuerte tree that's only got two fruits on um, he's a little bit behind and uh, so obviously there's a lot of uh, energy still going into those fruits because they need to still mature i can't pick them yet i could pick them they they i have picked some they've gotten right but uh yeah they they're not a hundred percent there yet with the, oil, with the oil content so i'll leave them for maybe another month and i think as soon as i pick those fruits then the, the flowers will will explode and they'll go so and I've done a very nice mulch layer big area around this Fuerte tree see let's see he's starting to flower quite nicely the trunks thickened up quite a lot quite quickly um, over here is that um, one year three month old uh, Pinkerton graft that seedling that I planted here over here and he's also <laughs> flowering quite heavily I actually think there might be a chance that um, this little tree is going to set some fruits uh, this season um, he's looking really healthy and strong let's go around to the look at all this water that's a lot of water is the little lamb the one that I've left the fruits on he's looking healthy if I go inside he's starting to push little uh, flower buds also see there if I can just focus there's some flower buds they're popping out everywhere and the fruits, because this tree obviously is still small, <laughs> the fruits are taking their time to mature, but they look good. They have grown in size. This one's actually quite beefy. That one, this one's, they're so, so, so nice and shiny. They look really cool. Um, I should probably pick them. Should have picked them a long time ago, because now this tree is going to be behind with the flowers coming out now now it's you know it's a really a really thin trunk I mean look at that um, and all that energy that needs to go into these fruits as well as it's wanting to flower now um, is not ideal I've put this tree under a lot of stress and pressure but um, it's okay it's looking healthy this is that wild seedling um, he's three years old this season and uh, he's the one the two-year-old seedling I made the video of that flowered um, last year and look at the flower buds developing 
popping for the third year. So I'm really hoping, there's the flowers coming, I'm really hoping this year that it, even if it can just set one fruit, that I can know if it's, you know, what the quality, what the, what the fruit tastes like, if I want to keep the tree and if I just want to top it and graft on it. Um, yeah, there's, there's some nice flowers coming there now. So I'll keep it um, around this, this year still. It's growing, it's, it's a weird, weird growing tree, but um, yeah, it's flowering. So hopefully if we can get a fruit there, then, um, and it's a good fruit, we can keep it or I can cultivate it from there on. Here's another little seedling. This was a gem, gem seedling. And uh, I'm always looking for flowers. This tree is probably four years old since I planted it from seed. And um, still no, no flowers that I can see. Um, just some new leaves coming. Um, yeah, it's definitely a dwarf style tree. If you look at this seedling, looks like a little Christmas tree almost. Four years old versus this three year old. That thing's going, I've pruned this one quite high up also. Then just a quick one, uh, looking here at the little reed, um, reef, reed winter grafts. They're now nine, ten months old. Now this one's not looking too great. The one next to it, uh, it's ramified. He's looking super healthy. Uh, come around. Oh, he's looking healthy. There is something chowing away. Put some compost on with the mulch and something eating away at those leaves. But I haven't seen anything. It's probably a grasshopper or something. Okay, so I just want to look at two trees, uh, three trees rather, that I haven't documented much. Um, this is a, a seedling um, that I planted also about two years ago. And uh, I grafted Pinkerton on it over there. And it's healed quite nice. The black is just a residue of a tree seal that I put on. So it's a nice solid graft. And that little graft uh, has grown into this uh, little tree this is still uh, there's the graft so this branch over here I've just kept to put a stake on because we're going into the Bergwind's uh, Bergwind stage now so there's going to be a lot of um, winds so I staked it over there because it's quite high up it's a thin graft union um, but this will be pink it or this is pink Pinkerton and I will let this go and um, I'll eventually take this off, which is part of the, you know, the, the rootstock. Um, and also did a very good mulch layer, uh, double mulch. Just want to check after the rain. Look at our black, black and organic it's looking underneath. It's looking... That's um, that's good soil. It's looking good and it's nice and loose. I'm happy with that. Um, then here's just another one of those little reed grafts I did in the winter. He's looking good. Some new leaves. Very slow growing, but uh, I'll see what it does. Um, I just planted it. Maybe if it grows and I want to take it out eventually, if this tree and this tree meet, then I can take this out. But in the meantime, I could probably get budwood off of it and then eventually uh, remove it. Right, so over here I've got a seedling, <clears throat> and this is a seedling that was part of four seedlings, seeds that I took from a tree that grew close by. Um, it's doing really well in our area and um, this seedling was a sibling of the seedling not the specific tree there was another one growing here and um, and that tree also flowered in two years it was really really strong growing really solidly and then all of a sudden it just got sick it just got black and died down and I had to remove it um, I'm not sure what it was maybe if it was I, I think it was probably root rot um, just was really susceptible to 
some sort of a pathogen there. But anyway, now it's sibling over here. Um, I'm keeping because I think that uh, early flowering gene might be in, in it. Um, that looks like leaves. I'm not 100% sure yet if it is flowers or leaves. Uh, it looks like leaves. It looks like leaves. I'll go higher up on the tree. Yeah, oh, no, it's leaves. It's not. Well, I'll see. There, there is quite a thick, thick swollen bud in there that looks like it might be flowery um, more than leafy but anyway it would be super awesome to you know this it, it, this tree is growing very elongated long and high up um, but I'm gonna leave it and see if it flowers maybe maybe there's a good fruit that comes off but yeah if there's any tree in this yard of mine that um, that that fruits from you know a seedling um, I'm not, and, and I don't like the fruit, Fruit. I'm definitely not growing it, I'm just cutting the tree, letting it sprout out and graft uh, either reed or lamb or whatever else on it. And I've got a beautiful macadamia tree over here, um, we're not talking about macadamias, so, but it, it is flowering and it's got some fruits on, just had some fruits on. Over here um, is that air layer of my neighbor's tree and he's doing super, super well. I mean, within a year this tree has grown from like that height all the way up into all this branching. Um, it's actually starting to become hard to move in this area. He's grown crazy. The fruits we've eaten off of this tree, off of my mate's tree and it's really not uh, great, so I'm letting this tree establish itself in this area and this spring I will my plan is actually I want to put lamb uh, Onto this or if I could get some gem sticks some scion somewhere gem would be be awesome Then I want to go around uh, Then we're hitting this other Fuerte that I thought was a has that I grafted off my has tree. You can see uh, this this is also just a year old grafted. Um, I was really lucky with a super, super strong rootstock. Uh, there is my graft union. This is only a year. This is how it's like if you get the right, you know, um, if there's like a good symbiosis between your scion, scion and your rootstock, a strong rootstock, then you can get this sort of growth in a year. And um, this thing's already on its way to flower. This fuerte. Look at all those flowers coming. These new leaves coming on the top and new flowers. This little thing is just a little super tree. Uh, check that out. Uh, one year, one year. So I'm super excited. He's planted in the right area. And then um, yeah, we're back at that Fuerte. And then here's the, the old Pinkerton. He's one of the first trees that, that I planted in this yard. And um, these fruits are Getting close to being ready to harvest, you can see he's turning dark, um, and uh, the sun beat it a little bit over on that side. He's looking a little bit yellow, but he's pushing crap loads of flowers, like loads and loads of flowers. So uh, I think that it's a good sign. Uh, there you can see the flowers now coming. So. Yeah, he's looking okay. He's putting a lot of energy into these fruits. There's a nice little Pinkerton. Stocky, stocky Pinkerton. Here's a huge, huge one. It's so interesting how these Pinkertons grow in our climate. How they don't grow like necky, like your normal Pinkerton that gets a, a lot more cold. When they when they get colder, they grow more necky. Um, we've got a very like a temperate uh, subtropical climate, and then they almost looks like a lamb if you look at it like that. But yeah, the growth. Here we go. This is it's a cool little Pinkerton tree, and it's super wet and muddy. And then over here is the other air-layered avo tree. 
I'm doing the same with this one as the one in the back there. Uh, this is a, just a little experiment. This is also a seedling. I've got a little lamb scion grafted onto that winter graft. I'm going to see if it's going to do something for us there. And then um, over here, that other little Christmas tree seedling. I still need to decide what I'm going to do with it, if I'm going to graft it. I'm not sure if I'm really happy with the strength, the way this tree is growing. If I want to take it to the next level, uh, maybe I'll just plant a, a whole other tree in there. He's my pride and joy. This is the other uh, lamb. He's doing super well. Also flowers coming. I removed all the flowers last year, so I'll leave these flowers. And I think this tree is going to fruit super solidly if uh, the weather goes well um, this season. Lastly, the other winter graft, grafted reed. The sun coming through super nicely now. And um, yeah, going to see what he does uh, in the future. But he's looking strong and healthy. And then just lastly, this freak seedling growing up into the heaven. And um, I will graft him also this season. I'm not going to leave him to, to, to make flowers. I want to put a very good variety on it because I've got a super solid rootstock there and I think this tree will become something amazing. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your day. Cheers.